I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, that was my Birdman impersonation. Okay, so why didn't y'all tell me Gilly was on time and regarding Birdman? After falling out, these two have definitely been going at each other the last couple of years. Over the weekend, Birdman went on Clubhouse, which was very, very interesting. Wag brought him on there. He was kicking it, answering questions from fans, and then Gilly came up. Birdman went on to say that he never made a dollar off of Gilly. Also told him to stop talking crazy. You're not like that. Said he never wrote for Moolah, and then told a very embarrassing story about Beanie Siegel punking Gilly, which made Birdman lose all respect he had for Gilly and ultimately was the reason why he fell out with Gilly. Now, whether or not Gilly actually wrote for Wayne, we'll never know, but Wayne has been on record saying that he was heavily influenced by East Coast rap. And if we're keeping it a buck, this is exactly what I would expect Birdman to say to Gilly. I did not expect him to have any favorable words about Gilly. Now, today, Gilly responded back to Birdman and he disrespected Birdman. You you guys all know Gilly is getting podcast money now. There was rumors floating around that his podcast with Wallow signed a $50 million deal with Barstool. Well, Gilly is flexing some of that money, telling Birdman, shut up, I make more money than you now, calling him a pussy, and also calling him a fucking coward. Here's what Gilly said back to Birdman. My whole thing is, my whole thing is, why Birdman wait so long to say something, I can't even respond when you say something 25 years later. It's like, what are we talking about, man? You don't even responding because you don't hear the roar of the crowd no more. You want to know what's so crazy? Huh? I'm bigger than baby. Ain't that crazy? I'm bigger than that nigga right now. I generate more money than that nigga right now. I don't hear that shit. You niggas counting me out, nigga. I'm bigger than you, nigga. Shut up. Nobody give a fuck about you, nigga. Shut up, nigga. I'm bigger than you, nigga. <laughs> you niggas counting me out, I'm bigger than you, nigga. <laughs> fuck you talking about. <laughs> Counted a nigga out. You talk about some shit 25 years later, I done called you a bitch ass nigga for 25 years. 25 years later, you respond, sit your bitch ass down somewhere. I ain't gonna hear that shit, nigga. Mm. Shut up. Mm. I don't even disrespect niggas. You don't need nigga I disrespect because I know you pussy. I see the way you treat a real niggas. Rest in peace, kill a stone. You could never treat me like that, though. Because you already know. You know what type of nigga I am. Poison that talk about I ain't like that. Why it took you 25 years to say that nigga? <laughs> took a nigga 25 years to get some heart to say I ain't like that. I've been calling you a bitch ass nigga for 25 years. You fucking coward. You treat real niggas. Hey nigga, you came in the game with you owed money to you a coward. Shut up, nigga. You on Clubhouse at 50 talking shit. Shut your pussy ass up, boy. Nobody wanna hear that shit. Hello? You still there? Nobody care about you no more, nigga. You old news, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> you old news, nigga. <laughs> you old news, nigga. Don't nobody give a fuck about no bird, man, nigga. You can't get no shoes off your old heads, nigga. Nobody wanna hear that shit. I fuck these slang freak bitch. Do your thing, do your thing. <laughs> man, come on, man. Y'all niggas counting me out, man. What are you doing when you go home? Niggas counting me out, nigga. I'm still here, nigga. I got an energy drink in stores. You can walk in stores right now, I got an energy drink. And by the way, this episode of Grinding Birdman Old Ass Up 
is brought to you by Pure Fuel. Sheesh, god damn, Gilly, tell us how you really feel. I'm gonna have to applaud Gilly for standing up for himself. I think the same way Birdman went at him, he also has a right to respond back. Especially if you feel like you're right and somebody has been trying to tarnish your name for years now and also trying to attack your credibility. It is kind of odd that Birdman is actually speaking on this that happened 10 plus years ago. Maybe he's trying to drum up publicity with Cash Money and BG coming home. Either way, tell me what you guys think about Gilly's response back to Birdman and where do you guys think this goes from? From here push comments below subscribe to my channel like this video i'll see you guys later